guys, I really wanted to quickly start off this video by saying a massive thank you to you lot, the viewers, the subscribers, the watchers, the guys pressing the like button, the guys commenting down below and making it all happen for us because we made it to 1,000 subscribers, 1K. What a place, what a place to get to. Thank you so much, it's all down to you lot. And uh, we're gonna keep pushing it out uh, if you keep watching. So we've got big plans coming up, big plans. Uh, keep, keep an eye out, watch this space. We got things coming up uh, that we think you're gonna love. It's mad actually because as soon as Jono heard this news, he keeled over and ended up in hospital. <laughs> nah, nah, um, that's not entirely true, but he is in hospital right now. Um, he's getting checked over for some heart stuff. And I wanted to say from me out here in Ireland and, and I want you guys to kind of send your love over and say, mate, we are, we are rooting for you. I uh, hope you're doing okay. Absolutely keeping an eye on you, my friend. So all the best to you, mate. We're here rooting for you, okay? We'll see you soon enough. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Enjoy. <laughs> it's good to be back on the road. Back in Mojo, making it happen. Oh man, oh, it feels so good. God, and oh, started on the button. Like, I haven't, I haven't driven in about five days and Mojo pulls it off once again. Ah, I love this van. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have decided to make my way north, um, up on the M1 at the moment. Yeah, I think Belfast is gonna be the eventual destination. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get there. We got some things to do in between, absolutely. We will check out what's in County Meath, for example. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, we're gonna find out. Dublin. It's been a pleasure. I have pretty much loved every second of being here. You're a fantastic city, but it is now my time to leave. I will see you again soon. I don't believe this. I just paid a toll. I just paid like two euro to get into Dublin, even though I've been in Dublin for the last... Oh no. I'm too tall. Let's go this way. Hello. You're right. Yeah, I know, I've got to climb all the way over. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Thank you. But, uh, there you go. It was only another three euros. Still, sunglasses in a tunnel. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, get those off. Ah, uh, I know. Just pull in front of me and slow down, will ya? That's definitely something uh, that I'm very aware of, is people pull out in front of you uh, because they're like, oh, this guy's going slow. And it's like, it's taken me forever to get up to this speed and now you've pulled out in front of me and I've got to slow down <laughs> and then make my way back up to that speed once you've got out of my goddamn way. That's what it is, that's what it's like being in one of these vans in an LP dub. Right, the sun's shining so we're spending the afternoon at the beach. Let's go. This beach is so good for skimming stones. They are, look, look, everything's so flat from the rock. Come down here, check it out. Yeah, boy! Island keeps up in its game of how pretty it is. It just doesn't stop, it never lets me down. So I got down here maybe an hour and a half ago and I've just decided I'm gonna stay here. Uh, it is just like the sun is setting. It's great vibes. Seaside, just having a good time about it. So I'm gonna stick around here. It's kind of the first cold night. So this is the first time I've turned on the diesel heater. Usually it gets up to speed and heat within about 10 minutes and it is I, i'm like have to turn it off after 10 minutes because i'm so hot the lighting in here is not great i could have turned a light on <laughs> so jazz taught me this trick before i left he said that the best way of doing this is to angle this little oh of course you can't see down there angle that vent up so it pushes the hot air up under uh your duvet so i'm gonna try that out so i get some toasty toasty toes Oh, it is warming up in here. Five minutes in, 
five minutes in and we're getting toasty already. Whew, this thing is powerful. I mean, you can't, you can't tell what's going on down there, but uh, it's a good time, <laughs> I, I guarantee. That's, you just gotta angle it slightly and then just follows up your d <laughs> How can you say this without sounding dirty? <laughs> anyway, once you're done, you take your little remote control right here. Uh, oh, and you press off and it should start the cooling down cycle. Wow, this was a great investment. It was like a hundred quid. I will put the uh, link in the description, Chinese here from eBay. Fantastic. Good night and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a change of plan. I'm currently sitting at a service station just north of Dublin on the M1. Having just had a shower, I feel fantastic. <laughs> I feel a million bucks. <laughs> Here's a question. Here's a thing. Sammy from Not Job, this Sam here, this Sam. He said he would give me 30 pounds if I didn't cut my beard before Christmas or hair. What do you think? Because it's already looking scruffy. <laughs> Shall I grow it out? Shall I become a real proper hippie? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. There has been a change of plan. I have been alerted to the existence of Campfest, which is down in County Kerry at a pub, the Railway Tavern. It is one of the last VW get togethers before everyone kind of packs up for winter. And I think it would be foolish to miss it. So I know we were saying we we're going north, but we're going to go south <laughs> all the way down to County Kerry. And we are going to take the back roads. No, sir, we are not using the motorways. No, not even long ago, the motorways didn't even exist. So we're going to rewind a bit. We're going to go back in time to a land untouched by motorways, which is some of the streets just to the side of the motorways. Because one, motorways are not where these buses thrive. And two, you get to see way more cool stuff if you actually just take your time about it. Let's see what we can find on our way to Camp Fest, which will be in the next video. Well, all right then, we have made it off of the motorway and onto the sweet little country roads of Ireland. That's bright, actually. I will put those back on. It is, I mean, another gorgeous day on the Emerald Isle. I cannot complain about the weather, good Lord. Ah, yeah, off you go. Overtaking, as, uh, as is the norm in these buses. <laughs> and that's okay, that's fine. You're not supposed to get anywhere quickly, no. These, these, these buses teach you patience and frustration, <laughs> for sure. But I, I'll, I'll be honest, so far, Mojo has been an absolute angel. Uh, I, I cannot fault this bus. It's a beautiful bus, so far. Just, ooh, big bird, there's a big bird over there. Oh, it's a massive bird. What a bird that was. <laughs> cool. That's what you get when you don't just hit the motorways. You get to see cool stuff, like big birds. Not like Big Bird, this isn't Sesame Street. At the moment, by the way, the roads have been fantastic. The roads are really good. They are well put together. I haven't been on any L roads. The L roads are then have like five numbers after them. They're usually pretty windy and uh, not in such great condition. Um, when I say the roads are good, there's no potholes, but there, there are like whooms and whooms, you know? Go, the, where the van goes whoom and you go ah! Feel it in your balls, you know? <laughs> Here's another thing about Irish roads. The ramps that I would call bumps or humps are massive. <laughs> they do not mess around here. They're like, oh, we want you to slow down. We're gonna put a few ramps in the road. They really mean it. Especially when you're in a van like this. You're gonna slow down, okay? You gotta slow down. They are lethal, absolutely lethal. Another funeral home. That's um, pretty much all that's out here. Oh, a laundrette. Oh, a laundrette! Ah, oh, straight past it. I'm down to my last pair of boxes. Glennon's funeral directors. Another one! <laughs> oh, ah, and there it is again with the bumps. Uh, uh. Whoa, peat bogs! I think I found some peat bogs. Where am I? <laughs> I don't know. I assume this is what the fable peat is. I, I'm. People have mentioned peat. It's such a beautiful day. People have mentioned peat before. And. I, I still don't really know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's just like earth that's been sitting around for a long time. <laughs> what does that mean? I just saw a sign. Bog of Allen. So this is the Bog of Allen. I've never been to a bog before. <laughs> Only when I really need to go. I'm just trying to find out what Pete is, to be honest. So the door was answered by a lovely woman by the name of Paula who asked 
not to be on camera, but she she was unbelievably knowledgeable about all this bog stuff. And she taught me what peat was. And, and I had a little look around these gardens and it was beautiful. They also had this carnivorous plant greenhouse, which was really cool. Had a bunch of carnivorous plants in, obviously. Don't do it, bro. Don't go in there. Uh, and then there was the, uh, the, I don't know, grapery? What do you call it? Vine, vineyard? Paula said I could try the grapes. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh. 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 I had a bit in it. Mmm, it's nice though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a crunch, not gonna lie. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. Oh, no. I heard it through the grapevine. So then there was this kind of creepy peak museum maybe it was creepy because there was like no one there but it was it was quite interesting and for about five euros you can experience all of this cool stuff and learn a bit about Pete if you didn't know guys go check out the Bog of Allen Nature Centre in County Kildare if you get the chance it's good fun so Pete just really quick is basically why I said it's <laughs> old old earth earth has been sitting around for a while but it, it only forms in certain specific situations um so it forms in bogs and it has to be under certain conditions. So it has to be acidic, right? And the, the fact it's acidic prevents this like vegetation, the stuff that's grown on top from decaying properly. And then this partially decayed organic matter, it, it builds up over over like thousands of years. And then you can you can harvest it and, and compress it, solidify it. And then you've got, you've got peat that you burn, that you burn it for fuel. It's like a fossil fuel, pretty mad. Anyway, off you go. Huh. Well, that's a bog. <laughs> and that's Pete. Great. Now you know. <laughs> I have just entered County Offaly. And it is awfully beautiful here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just entered County Leash. Yes, that is how you spell it. Look. <laughs> oh, my God. I take back what I said about the roads. Good lord. I don't know where this is taking me. I'm supposed to be going up some mountain. Blue sleeve, um, sleeve bloom mountains, right? Not blue sleeve. <laughs> this has got to be the least roady road I've been on so far. It is just a track. Uh, I hope we get to the top of this hill. <laughs> I bet it's going to be beautiful. Kind of looks like I'm the wrong side of this. Oh, the other side's where the sunset is. <laughs> ah! There's gonna be a massive big rock. Oh, wait, look, 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 look. Open, oh, open, no, oh. Right, if we get back to that spot soon, we can probably get some cool drone shots, let's go. Am I going to have to reverse this whole way? Oh, I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, whoa! Break on. Uh, look at this. I mean, th there was space, that's fine, but it, it wouldn't have been fine. I might, I might actually park up here, you know? There's no one up here. There's literally no one up here. <laughs> Well, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I have made it to the top of Sleeve Bloom Mountains, right? 
Um, really cool spot. Absolutely no one up here at all. I've not seen anyone. A couple of deer on the way up, which is pretty sweet. Um, I have a feeling it's going to get a little windy and the weather might go a bit fun overnight, but I think we should be all right. Time for some dinner. Have I or have I not just had the literal best idea ever? Oh, eh. That's soup in its original packaging floating in a pan of water. I don't have to put the soup in the pan, so I don't have to clean the pan up. And all I need to do is take that soup, stir it every now and then, pop it on a plate. That is no washing up soup from Adam Stevens. You can have that one for free. That is uh, another one of my van life tips. <laughs> Mm, yeah, you can almost taste the microplastics. <laughs> Guys, so I spent the entire night in the Sleeve Blue Mountains and it was good times, it was all chill. Um, and I made an entire video the next day up on the mountains doing a van tour of Mojo. So if you want to check that out, is uh, the link is where it is. Um, and then I decided I uh, best move on. I've got a place to be, Kerry to be exact. Having a bit of a nightmare here, I'm not going to blum in lie. Um, I think the fridge has swung open and just stuff falling out. <laughs> there was something on the top that flew off. I was leaving in a little bit of a rush this morning. It is just proof that really, all you need to do is make sure you've taken everything off of the flat surfaces and closed all the doors. But it's so easy to just leave something open. Let's see the damage, shall we? Okay, yeah. Oh, so this, this thing, right? Buddy box chemical toilet combination. Even though it's really heavy, it just it just slides everywhere. Uh, it just goes zoom. When you go around the corner, it goes zoom. It goes back there. And it goes back in there. And this actually closes this time. So fuel gauge. Fuel gauge can be a little intermittent, uh, depending on how much you accidentally kick your fuse box. Uh, I have found that playing with the fuse locks does help. I have, ah, ah, we're proving once again that T2s will absolutely splatter all the insects. Ah, it's gross. I hate it. Oh no, my squirters don't work. <laughs> Many small flying insects have met their end on the front of Mojo. For that, I am sorry. Anyway, fuel gauge can just dip out sometimes. It's just like, uh, all right, I'm out. We've said this literally, I think, from our first first ever video we made. The top key things to carry with you is spare fuel and a fire extinguisher. And I have two of those, so I think we're set. I am very fortunate that I have a working Speedo. I know in many buses, especially back back home, back with the boys, the Speedos just don't work. And that's, and that's fine, and that's okay. But I also am lucky enough to have the GPS Speedo that the Slaughterhouse Customs lads fitted into my... Oh. oh no! The fridge! Again! Once again, make sure things are closed and strapped down. Where am I going? I'm lost. As I was saying, GPS Speedo from the Slaughterhouse lads. Uh, it has been doing me a world of good because it is telling me how fast I'm going in kilometers. I don't have to then do the conversion in my head from what I'm looking at here. If I'm going 30, I know I'm going approximately 45, 50. Also, when it comes to speeding, don't worry. If you're on a motorway, you won't reach 120 kilometers. It's just not going to happen <laughs> unless you're very lucky. So it seems like over here, the petrol stations are service stations. They have a, a deli counter. They have hot food. They make you up a little baguette with bacon and sausage in, if you like. But all of them seem to have a ton of food, like really good baked goods that look amazing, salad bars, um, and ice cream. There's always a little ice cream thing, right? You might not get your fuel, but you will get ice cream. Look at the size of this, a king cone. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. This is my lunch. So on the slightly bigger roads, we're talking like single carriageway things here, but it feels like a dual carriageway because there's this yellow dashed line, which I guess we could call, we would call the hard shoulder, basically. You could pull over in it. Uh, I've seen people walk down it. Sometimes it just seems to turn into a pavement. Sometimes it disappears completely, actually. Right now, where's it gone? But basically, there's kind of this unspoken rule where if you're going relatively slowly in an old VW bus, 
or a big lorry or something, you you pull like most of your most of the way into this um, yellow lane and just let people overtake you who are in fact going the speed limit. So. I think it's a bit more of a gentleman's code. Not everyone does it, but yeah, it's just, it's interesting. It's, it's a difference. So there are roundabouts in Ireland. Not that everyone, like it seems that the rules are kind of optional to follow, but uh, they're not everywhere. They are only really in built up areas. Out in the country, you just won't, you just won't find them. You'll just have solid T-junctions and lots of crossroads and, and a lot of V's coming in at an angle. So good old Mojo does seem to get quite a bit of attention uh, everywhere she goes. And that's the attention for me, of course. Uh, and I just happen to be in the van. Nothing to do with the van. Been stopped by a few people and I've had a good chat. So one guy was super into his VWs as well. Chap at Halfords, actually. I, I, I walked in there, had the nut job thing on it. I was like, oh, what's this nut job thing for then? And I go, oh yeah, we work with old, old VWs. Have a little look outside, you see it? And he goes, <gasps> it was well excited. He was like, right, I've got, we gotta go check it out. So we went out and had a look. He's a good dude, he's a good dude. He's actually looking to get his old bay back as well. So Kev, good luck to you, my friend. Uh, maybe I'll see you at one of these meets one day with your bay back in hand. Now, I will stop your viewing there real quick because I want to say for the next little chunk of this video, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to breeze through the kind of rest of the trip because if I, if I kind of went in depth like I've been going so far, this video would be an hour long. Um, so I'm going to show you some cool stuff uh, and where I stayed and things and then we're going to jump into when I got to Kerry. I found somewhere to do my laundry, which was, you know, needed, finally. It was kind of this cool thing, Laundrette Revolution. And you can find them outside petrol stations, outside Tesco's. <laughs> you can go in and do your shopping and have your, your washing going on outside, which is pretty cool. Uh, then that night I ended up staying at this place called Kilgarvan Key. Uh, which was on Loch Derg, and it was awesome. I got some really cool shots uh, from the drone. Check it out. If you like that one, this is my favorite one. Check this out, this is cool. It's all like disappears into the darkness. This is badass. The next day, my phone holder broke. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. I've broken the thing. So I had to go and sort that out. And that night, I stayed just off the river in Castle Connell, north of Limerick. Do you know? River. And so the next day, I made my way down to Kerry and I got a little excited because I spotted someone on the road. <laughs> Just spotted my first bay, yeah! <laughs> Ozzy was coming this way, I gave him the flashes. Uh, we had a good wave. I'm getting way too excited about this. <laughs> Just made it into Kerry and we bumped into our first beautiful bay window. Uh, I can't wait to see the guys. Camp Fest lot, I'll see you there, I'll see you soon. Okay, so I was just pulled up to Woodlands Park uh, campsite because I think tonight I want to have a shower <laughs> and some uh, facilities around me, you know? Let's see uh, see if we can uh, get a place here. Pretty good spot. Uh, it is literally right in, right just off of the town of Trali or Trali. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I should have asked in the office. And I think, yeah, I'm going to go check out the town tonight and be ready to get to Camp Fest tomorrow. Oh, can't wait. And that brings us to the end of the video. But I have a little bit more to show you because I want to leave you with a little teaser for next time when I'm hanging out with the great guys at Camp Fest. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Check this out. It's turned out to be a beautiful day and we're going to Camp Fest. Let's go.